For the next two minutes, I want to talk about some language uh, which you will encounter when you are solving problems involving probability. Yeah. So before we start calculating probability, let's have a look at some terms and expressions. Yeah. Uh, so for instance, you can find the term certain. Yeah. Something happening is absolutely certain. Maybe you want to think of an example now. What is absolutely certain? Well, for instance, um, when you roll dice, it's absolutely certain, a normal dice, yeah? It's absolutely certain that you're gonna throw a number which is either one, two, three, four, five, or six. Yeah, absolutely certain. And yeah? sometimes people say, you have a, that's a 100% chance, yeah? It's a 100% chance that it's either going to rain or not going to rain today, isn't it? Okay, certain. Well, what is the, let's say, opposite of certain? Um, impossible, you agree with that? Impossible. It is absolutely impossible that between now and the next 10 seconds, I'm gonna see a pink elephant flying through the room. That's impossible. It's not going to happen, yeah? 0% chance, if you like, 0% chance, yeah? So certain and the opposite is impossible. Now, what lies exactly in between certain and impossible? Well, for instance, you can call that an even chance, yeah? Or maybe you would say 50-50. Um, yeah, a 50-50 chance of something happening. Um, let's say when somebody's pregnant, you have, well, roughly a 50-50% chance that it's gonna be a boy or a girl, yeah? And then you have words between impossible and even chance, and between even chance and certain. For instance, an event which is likely to happen, yeah? I'm in Egypt today, it's quite likely that the sun is going to shine, yeah? It's not absolutely certain, but it is likely, or actually, it is very likely, yeah? It's very likely that in Egypt the sun is going to shine today. Likely is perhaps, I'm gonna have potatoes for dinner tonight. Yeah, it's quite likely, all right? Very likely. And then you have unlikely, unlikely. For instance, it is unlikely that you are going to fail your math next math test. Yeah? Why? Because you are a very smart young boy or girl. Yeah? Um, and then you have very unlikely. Very unlikely. Unfortunately, it's very unlikely I'm going to win the jackpot tonight. Yeah? So these are <coughs> excuse me, all sorts of words you're going to encounter. And now just to finish this off, I have uh, sketched a line here. And that is for, yeah, you can call that a probability line. Let's take some uh, green. And in the middle, it's the even chance, yeah? And we call that 0 0.5, yeah? Or a half, or 50%, yeah? That all means the same, eh? You've learned that before. Percentages, decimals, fractions, they all describe um, yeah, a part of the whole, yeah? And then, on this side and on that side here, it is one or one or a hundred percent, and this is zero, zero, zero percent. Hopefully, you realize that that is certain, that is impossible, and that is an even chance. Yeah. So, what is the chance that it is going to um, rain today in Egypt? Well, that is very unlikely. So, if I would have to. Uh, draw that on my probability line, I would say, oh, that's gonna be somewhere here. You had a chance that it's going to rain in Egypt today. It is not impossible, but it's very unlikely, all right? What is the chance that I'm gonna have some potatoes for dinner tonight? Well, it is likely, yeah? That can be different for you and for me. And for me, it's quite likely I'm gonna have potatoes for dinner tonight. I'm gonna to put that somewhere here, yeah? It's not certain. Yeah, but it's more than an even chance because we have potatoes a lot. Yeah, but perhaps if you eat rice almost every day, and then what is your chance that you're going to eat potatoes tonight? Perhaps it's somewhere more down at this region of the probability scale. Yeah, what is absolutely certain? Can you give me an example of something absolutely certain? Well, uh, for instance, today, um, when well, I'm shooting this video, uh, it's Monday. So what is the chance that tomorrow it is going to be Tuesday? Well, that is absolutely certain, so I would mark that over there, yeah? Something that is absolutely impossible. Uh, it's absolutely impossible that, um, well, I, I'll just use the same example I uh, used before, that I see a pink elephant flying through the room within the next 
60 seconds yeah so I would mark that somewhere there okay and then with every chance or every situation you can mark it somewhere on the probability scale all right so um, that was the language um, it's important to realize that usually with probability we talk about the decimals or the fractions not so much the percentages although it's nothing wrong if you do so yeah? but usually you will see the decimals or the fractions and you need to understand that a probability of one means it's certain it's absolutely certain yeah and a probability of zero is impossible it's never going to happen it is impossible and then in the middle you have a probability of one over two or 0 0.5 which means it's an even chance yeah and everything else is somewhere in between all right next video we're going to calculate probability i'll see you there